Uh, hi, this is Dr. David Tenner. We're here at the Goldberg Clinic where we specialize in the reversal of, of chronic disease. And today I'm delighted to be joined by our patient, Ms. Jennifer Noyce. She is from Florida. What part of Florida? St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg. And she came to see us back in September of 2019. We're now about three months fast forward to December of 2019. And Ms. Noyce has done wonderfully under our care. Ms. Norris, I'm going to turn it over to you. Very good. Tell us a little bit about what brought you in, what health concerns you had, and a little bit about your history. Okay. I have a history of Crohn's disease, which was diagnosed in 1990. Um, I was uh, placed on several medications, uh, 6-MP, uh, Pentassa. Um, oh, probably for about 11 years I took these drugs. Um, ups and downs constantly, never really felt well. Um, and then about three years later, I had a, um, a terrible infection that caused me to go to the hospital and have to have emergency surgery to have part of my uh, intestine and colon removed. Um, then they gave me a temporary ileostomy, which uh, I had for 10 months, and uh, that did relieve some symptoms and, you know, I, I got better and they were able to reverse the uh, ileostomy 10 months later. Um, still continued with the drugs afterwards. Um, just ups and downs constantly, never really felt great. Um, and then just recently, this year in June, I had a flare up that was pretty bad and I was not able to get it back under control, which is when I found you. Right, and that's what brought you in. That's what so brought me another in. another flare up. Right. And just make a couple comments about your history. When a person is diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease, either ulcerative colitis or Crohn's, it's a fairly predictable course of action that's taken medically. There's a standard of care that generally involves colonoscopy to make the diagnosis, and then any one of maybe five or six different medications, the one you had, the ones you had are fairly common. They also mm -hmm. prescribe things like prednisone, which are steroids. Prednisone that as well, You're yeah. on steroids mm -hmm. too. Biologics like Humira, Rem uh, Remicade, Embril. All these things come with the potential for a lot of serious side effects. They don't get down to the root issues, which is why so many people end up having ongoing problems. And then as the problems progress, even despite the medications, uh, the patient then ends up having surgery, like um, Ms. Noyce did, where they start removing portions of the intestine. And the concern there is that you, know, you can remove the effects of disease surgically, but you can't cut out what caused the problem. So in many cases, there ends up being recurrences. And I've seen, we've seen many times here, patients have repeat surgeries. It's just the next portion of test, intestine starts to become diseased. So when Jennifer came in, you know, she was concerned that you know, she was having ongoing issues. She wanted to know what, what types of things were contributing to this and then what she could do to take control of her health and prevent problems from happening in the future. So we did a, a thorough evaluation. I spent a lot of time with you. wanted to get to know you as, be, as best I could and get all the details of your history. In doing that and then setting you on a program and working with you long distance over email for the next, last few months, what's changed now for you? What, what kind of changes have you seen? Well, firstly, I just want to say that no doctor has ever spent the time with me asking questions that you ask and getting to what the issue really are, issues really are. Um, I was very impressed with that. Um, well, my, my digestive issues basically just cleared up 100% since following the plan. Mm -hmm. And I was very strict with myself in following it. I mean, I adhered to everything that you asked me to do. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I found that just, I just felt better and better as, as time went on. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Jennifer had listed out in her re-exam form here. How much improvement have you had in just a few months, which is actually a lot sooner than we were expecting? Yeah, I what said percentage would about, you say about 95%, really. And what did your husband say? <laughs> he said it was 100%. <laughs> yeah, so we're thrilled with the improvements, as we wrote down here, that you told us just a few minutes ago. Your energy is better. Way better. Your bowel habits are better. Your mood is better. Your ability to just kind of go with the flow and, and kind of with any stress that comes your way is kind of like water off a duck, right? Which has, uh, I think, played a big role in your improvement. Amazing, yes. Mm -hmm. Stress factors were definitely a contributing factor with you. We had to and I didn't that. even realize it, mm -hmm. yeah. So we had some testing to, to show Jennifer the types of effects that the stress factors were having. We looked at her diet, we looked at her digestive function, and, and we found some things that we really needed to work on and cleaning up. And I gotta tell you, of all the things, uh, the most important factor that's allowed Jennifer to get well is the fact that she's been an excellent patient 
she's taking control of her situation. We gave her recommendations, but they're only as good as Jennifer's ability to implement them and willingness to implement them. And she's done an excellent job in that regard. So she has earned every bit of improvement that she's had. She's been very easy to work with and very compliant, which is in most cases the most important factor that determines whether a patient is successful or not. So we really, really commend you on that. Thank you. All right, so we're thrilled with Jennifer's progress. Are you taking any pharmaceuticals? Nothing. No, no drugs? Mm -hmm. No pills, no potions. Cut no way back on supplements, too. I think it was overdoing those as well. And we see that with quite a lot of people. Absolutely. Yeah, so we really simplified things for her, got down to the root issues, developed a common sense, logical program for her to follow, and the results have been, have been excellent. Amazing. So we're absolutely thrilled. All right, so just want to thank you again for sharing sharing your story. I think it's going to serve as an inspiration to other people that, that, we, that we're working with. And that, um, again, thank you very much. Yes, thank you.